Ah, Tesla, removing software features from used cars. I was actually reading about this. It's interesting. So there's a Model S sold at auction. The guy bought it with the understanding that it had the uh, full autopilot feature, and then I think there was one other one. Um, yeah, autopilot was advertised as a feature, and oh, the story here says the previous owner paid $8,000 for it, but the article that I read about it was um, Tesla was saying that actually uh, we were doing an audit and this car was not entitled to autopilot. Uh, in the description of work, it says autopilot was removed on November 18th, 2019, after it was found that the customer did not purchase the software. So basically, the car updated to the latest version and autopilot was removed after this customer bought a car that supposedly had autopilot. Yeah. Um, so, oh man. This I'm, I'm is trying to brutal. See, I'm trying to see if there's like an official statement or an update or anything like that to see if there's there's something along what you said, but I don't see anything. So there's a couple ways to look at this. One is like obviously you don't get the Steam library that was logged in when you buy a laptop. Obviously. Well, hold on. No, no, think for a second though. What if someone sold their Tesla? Okay. No, no, hold on. No, no, okay. I'm going somewhere with this. Okay. Stop. Stop. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I am a Model S owner, okay. hypothetically. Sure. I'm a Model S owner. Yeah. And I'm gonna sell my Model S, and I'm like, you know what, Model S, pff, that's for chumps. I'm getting the Model X. X rated, big, you know, <laughs> big X, big X. Indifferent. Okay? Yeah, sure. <laughs> so, from my perspective, as a Tesla customer who bought uh, some eight thousand dollar software upgrade for yep. my car. Maybe I want to take that with me. Okay. Okay, but hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going somewhere with this. I'm going somewhere with this. Just can you calm down? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I can tell. So he looks externally like he's calm. See, <laughs> that's why I keep telling him to relax, because I can tell. Right below the surface, right a millimeter Just below the surface, boiling. he's gonna he's gonna he's he's gonna explode. He's yep. dynamite. He's yep. a dynamite kind of guy. Yep. All right, so I want to take my autopilot with me. Okay. Why should I have to pay for a software feature that I already paid for? So in that case, if I were to say, hey, I think that Tesla should license their advanced driving features to the user rather than the car, I would have at least some ground to stand on. Now, I've been playing devil's advocate this entire time because I think this is ridiculous. But why don't you go ahead and... If let, it let. was licensed to the user and it was made very clear that that was the arrangement that yep. they had, which is not how it works at all, uh, I think that would be its own conversation. Yeah. It's tied to the car. So the Steam library argument doesn't really like No, no, it doesn't. Make any it, was sense. Just, it was just for us to be able to have a conversation. Sure, about like, hey, if, in an alternate reality, this could be weird, but interesting, uh, just because like it could be tied to the user, not the car, and they could go to a car that doesn't support it, and then it's like, uh... Yes, so um, that, is, <laughs> that is really the problem with the entire argument I was and making. And then you like go into your buddy's car and log in, and it's like, hey! Hey, I got on a <laughs> now, boys. Yeah. Um, hey, let's all share the same account. Now I don't know. that, yeah. hold on a second. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, so you whoa. want to drive your Fred around because you Hold get better on. features in your car? Hold on a minute. <laughs> no, because it's an autopilot feature. I ain't driving. Nobody's driving. <laughs> okay, okay. So I think people who are being realistic, and I'm sorry to everyone who this is very bad news for you. Um, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. Uh, for people who are being realistic, I think the future of people not owning cars is pretty clear at this point. Yeah. Um, Cars as a service is happening. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, they're grieving right now. It'll be there when you wake up. It'll just have been somewhere else while you're asleep. That's right. So cars as a service, that's coming. Whoa. So I'm just using some fleet of autonomous cars or whatever. Oh. I, as a user, license better features. Now, I'm not saying I like this as a user. Wow. I'm, I'm just saying that's brilliant and horrible. That from the fleet management perspective, you can have all the same car. If they just have basic cars, and then so you, so hold on, okay. Oh my goodness, this is like next level stuff. Obviously, <laughs> Mr. Musk figured this out ten years ago, and that's like why he's pushing so hard for all this crap. But 
Okay, so here's the, here's the dynamic, okay? You've got the car as a service service provider, and I know Tesla wants to be one of them. They wanna be vertically integrated, but let's say they don't reach complete saturation. So you've got sure. the car as a service service provider, you've got Tesla, you've got the end user. So now you've got all these different licensing options to, to work together on as Tesla and the car as a service company, right? So either Tesla can go, hey, you know, we're gonna offer users directly the option to license air conditioning, <laughs> for example, okay? We're gonna, we're gonna license air conditioning. We're gonna license, um, you know, the ability to go more than more than 100 miles at a time or okay. or whatever the case may be. Yeah. And then the cars as a service company is gonna go, well, no, hold on a second. How about this? How about we bulk license some percentage of our fleet based on in much the same way that you would um, that you would uh, shoot well I'm missing the word uh, provision the, in much okay. the same way that yeah, you would yeah. provision a server so where you would oversell the hardware that's actually on the machine based on that not all of it will be used at a time so the so the car as a service company is like okay 30 percent of our fleet is going to have um you know uh, uh music better music quality you know some better better codec or whatever so sure. it sounds better sure right i'm, I'm just trying to come up with yeah, like yeah, yeah, features yeah, that yeah, you yeah, could yeah. that you could give and the take feature away right now is not that important via the software idea is important yeah it's just the idea so we're going to license that from you and then we're going to charge a higher tier to the people who want access to those features under the assumption that we will never have more than 30% of our fleet uh, deployed with these higher tier users. And so there's all these different ways that they could work together to make sure that people don't own anything. Yeah, that pretty much, that sucks. It's brilliant. Yeah. They're gonna make so much money, like so much more money than selling people cars. Like selling people cars at this point is like the worst business to get into. I mean, that's why nobody is doing it. Like you might say, oh, whoa, 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 Tesla. No, 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 Tesla's not getting into the business of selling people cars. They're getting into the business of being an energy solutions provider, part of which is automobiles. And they're getting into the business of autonomous vehicle fleet sales and management. Um, because the problem with selling people cars is that you only get paid once, and that is not the way of the future, for better or for worse. Um, and not only that, but it comes with so much overhead. And like the, we, we know from a conversation we had, of, I'm, I'm assuming one or two months ago at this point, that like taxi company that had Teslas, do you remember that? Like 300,000 miles, no major repairs? Yeah. So if you have that, if you have fleet mechanics, and you have like repair infrastructure, which I'm sure they have, where they can swap engines, they can swap batteries, they can do whatever they need to keep these things going way more cheaply than an end user would be able to. Yep. And then you're licensing them out and you get hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of kilometers on these things instead of like, I don't know what the average amount of kilometers someone starts to replace a car is, but instead of that, you get way freaking more, yeah. People are Valued. so in denial. In America, we own things. Do you? Do you? Do you? Do, do you, you buy movies still? Do you, <laughs> do you buy movies still? <laughs> do you have physical copies of games? Do you still? have CDs? Do you have CDs? Do you own any CDs? <laughs> uh, oh boy, yeah. So I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry that that was hard to hear. But man, it is gonna. Like I wonder. I honestly wonder. My kids are still not even close to the age where they would legally be allowed to drive. Yeah. And in much the same way that I sort of would marvel at how my parents just knew their way around, like driving, I was like, why don't you just use Google Maps? You know, like, <laughs> right? I wonder if there's gonna be another generational gap that soon. Why are you like, still driving the car? Why are you operating a steering wheel? Who even needs to do that? What, that's stupid. Like, it's a waste of my brain cells to even- I wouldn't even just, like, I was just gonna say read. Yeah. Watch- Something. A video. Yeah. Whew. <laughs> oh. That took a sec. Ugh. Um, oh, hey, Nick, I got a question for you, and then you yeah. can jump in. Uh, also, I'm sure there's a ton of people being like, I own records! Um, and yeah, there will be people like that with cars. Yeah, absolutely, and they can take their cars to the track once manually operated vehicles are no longer legal on roads. Don't kid yourself. That will happen. 
Um, Might be a long I think time. Linus but. thinks this is going to happen in like 15 years, and it's actually going to happen in like 50. Yeah, 50 is fine. No, I no, I'm not saying 15 years. I'm saying that it will be an option in 15 years, and then it will Maybe. become mainstream. Because the thing is. The only way for big changes like these to happen are through people dying and being born. People who remember the old way die, and people who never knew any other way and are born into And going to have it. to swap over. And like yeah. the, the like shipping industry and stuff in terms of like trucks and everything is going to completely swap because well, they'll see reliable. Yeah. So like yeah. industries will change and re-standardize to this entirely. Yeah. Everything trickles down from yeah. the enterprise. Yeah. Um, not enterprise, the car rental company. The enterprise, <laughs> enterprise users. Everything in the world yeah. trickles down well, from the I heard they pick you up. Rentals. I heard they pick you up. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. I, yeah. Putty's 